Alright you guys, this is uh, KillMikey24 here back again. Pretty much, Geshi, uh, <clears throat> well here is actually my uh, Blue Galaxy project. Uh, decided to finally upgrade uh, my CPU from the Rasta block, uh, C XSPC Rasta uh, block to the XSPC Raystorm and I just already had the block. Uh, I just needed to get the actual bracket. So this is the bracket, and this is the Intel bracket that now they upgraded the screws to fit it. But uh, anyway, um, I just want to show you some temperatures real quick before I uh, turn this off. And this is at uh, 4.5 uh, gigahertz. You can tell here the temperatures. Yeah, they're a little bit off. I'll explain to you. Motherboard is quite cold. The CPU is always by 15 degrees off. It's known with a CPU package temperature. And you know, the other eight core is pretty good. The C, uh, GPU first and the second core is pretty good. They're all the same. But that's why I, there's a problem with the flow rate through the Ray Storm. I checked it out. It was about 1.35 uh, gigawatts uh, inside the, the I, I, gallons per gallons per liter I think whatever in flow rate whatever it is I forgot the site open link description so this guy's gonna be bigger better and be easier in the flow rate I mean you can tell the surface area and everything and you can tell the temperatures right here so and I'm not lying here I'm gonna zoom in so this is a 15 2013 temperature about been an hour it's been pretty cooking so stay by 55 under the threshold of what you need it for with the race storm. This block is quite old too, so. So stop this because this it's getting really hot now already. See. See now, temperatures at 1.35. I have it there sitting there. Anyway, a 4.5 multipliers at 22.5. Uh, 200 of the bus speed RAM. I have 16 gigs of GSCO Air Aries memory at uh, 1866, but I have it at 1600. Not much of a difference. Two cards. Yeah. Updated drivers for this. Everything. 1903 Asus uh, M5A 99FX R Pro R2.0. And obvious, you're gonna. Hold on. Tell you right there, but anyway, all right, you guys. I'll be right a little bit back. So, I gave it a able to install this block, see how the temperature and the flow rate. All right, guys, this came like 84. So, you guys will blitter. All right, guys, this uh, came like 84 here back again. Uh, here is my updated uh, Raystorm block already installed. Looks a lot better without the logo being on the corner. Um, you're gonna hear a little background. Anyway, uh, it's gonna flex just a tad bit if you look inside of here. See here, I'm zoomed in quite a bit. It's gonna, it's gonna flex. Okay. Um, a little bit of pain to remove. Uh, here's my GTX 560 Ti as an SLI. With AMD, um, I'm going for uh, reliability of the board. Anyway, uh, I'll be right back, you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, actually put the distilled um, water and the the P, uh, pH nuke stuff and all that. All right.
Yep, see you guys a little bit later. Be right back. All right, guys, this is uh, Killmike 84 here back again. Uh, done installing my Rasta block already. See here, nice and beautiful, nice and clean. And I did uh, some temperatures. Actually, let's change it to the stat. Static. So yeah, so pretty much has been running for that long. Really hot. Really hot in this room. So yeah. So it's been this long. Temperatures. It got really hot in here. But anyway, um, so that, yeah, this prim is done. Installed my Raystorm block. Big difference from the flow rate. A lot, lot of difference. Temperature is still hot for the at 4.5 gigahertz. Voltage is at 3.850. Still damn too hot to me. But then again, what can you do? But anyway, um, you guys have any comments or anything about my Blue Galaxy project? You guys hit the like button. See you guys a little bit later. This is Kamaki84.